Hey winners, Kevin Ward here. Okay, a great question that was asked to me that I get asked fairly regularly and that is how do I handle it because I'm brand new in real estate or I'm very, very young in real estate and how do I overcome the objection uh, that you're too young or you're not experienced enough and so forth. And I want to share with you today six strategies for handling that objection. Now, I've got to tell you first off that the the C factor is the real answer here. It's the, the big C. And the big C is confidence. You see, here's what is more important to buyers and sellers than anything else in choosing an agent. And that is they've got to feel confident that you're the best agent to help them get what they want. Whether it's the best terms of price, getting their home sold in the best amount of time with the least amount of hassle and the best price. All of that comes down to the C factor. And that is, are they confident that you're the agent that can help them do that? Well, the C factor for them comes from you. So the biggest key here to making all this happen is, is you have to be confident. If you're confident, if you're certain, if you have absolute, you're comfortable with who you are and what you can do to help them get the results they want, that confidence is going to just automatically be fed to them because, hey, it, it's just the way life is. Whenever you're around somebody and they feel confident, you naturally become more confident in them because we get from them the idea that, hey, they know what they're doing. So when they feel that from you, that is the first and most important thing. So what I'm going to share with you is six strategies or six ways that you can increase your own confidence quickly. Now, let me tell you one other thing before I share with you the six C, the six strategies of the big C. And that is that the biggest objection, the one objection you can never overcome when you're working with buyers or sellers anytime is an objection that you create in your own brain. So as I'm showing you these six strategies, understand that the real, the real secret here is that that confidence has to be in you and that the objection of you're too young or you're too new you're too new cannot be inside of you. You see, if that if you're the one that creates the objection, you can never overcome an objection that you're creating. You become the obstacle rather than their lack of confidence or lack of certainty. And if you feel like it's an objection or, or an issue, then what you just it's gonna show up in your lack of confidence, in your lack of certainty. So you can work with anybody of any age, any price range, anywhere, even as a very young or very new agent, if you take these six strategies and put them into practice right now. And you may not use all of them, but if you use a combination of them, guaranteed they will help you get more business and overcome or re completely remove this issue of I'm too new or I'm too young. So are you ready? Here we go. Number one, the first strategy is energy. Now here's my favorite and here's the best one. And that is, if you really want to up your game instantly, have more energy and enthusiasm than the average agent does. Because see, the average agent has very low enthusiasm, very low energy. What can I do to help you? I'm really excited about uh, helping you guys get into a new home. And this is a very big decision for all of us and blah, blah, blah. And they have no energy. They have no enthusiasm. And you can separate yourself from the mass of agents just like that by turning on the energy, the enthusiasm, by smiling, by actually acting like you're excited about helping them buy a home or helping them sell a home. Because the bottom line is if somebody's going to work with you, they want to believe that you're excited about helping them buy a new home or that you're excited about actually helping them sell their home. And so your energy and enthusiasm is something and that doesn't take training. You don't have to go to seminars. You don't have to get coached. You don't have to study for four years. You don't have to, it doesn't take any time. You can do that in an instant. Just turn it on. Turn on the energy, the enthusiasm, the smile, and be excited about what you're doing. It makes a huge difference. The second C, the second strategy is skills. Now, Here's the thing about skills. In real estate, you can develop your skills fast or you can develop them slow. And for example, how, how long does it take you to learn how to really do a strong, powerful listing presentation? Well, I'm going to tell you a secret. You can do it in a week or you can do it in 25 years. <laughs> and the reason I say that is, is because literally in one week, if you spent three or four or six hours a day for a week actually memorizing and internalizing a listing presentation of how to present it and then practice it over and over and over again with your and learn the communication skills, learn how to ask the right questions, learn the tonality, learn how to lead and how to listen 
And you can do all of that literally in a week if you really focused and did it intensely. And yet at the same time, I know many, many agents who've been in the business 10 years, 15 years, 20, even 25 years who still don't have a powerful listing presentation. And they'll tell you, you know, I just wing it. I just, I don't really have a strong listing presentation. What have they done? They've taken and over and over for year after year, they've done the exact same thing with no skill. They just kind of make it up as they go. And they get over over time where they're fairly decent at it at a high level or a low level, wherever they are. But the bottom line is you can intentionally take your skill set very high, very fast if you apply yourself and focus and practice and work at it and get coached and get supported and get trained. You can develop skills very, very quickly in how to get clients to work with you and how to help them get the results that they want if you're willing to apply yourself. So increase your skills quickly. Learn them fast. Practice. Role play. Get coached. I'm happy to apply to be your coach for you. Just let me know what I can do to help. Those are the things that will help you immediately create more confidence with yourself, which will help other people, buyers and sellers, be more confident in you. So learning your skills fast, absolutely critical to it. Number three is learning the market. Now, again, it's one of those things you can do this fast or you can do it slow. And that is market knowledge, because here's the reality. More knowledge always gives you more confidence. Knowledge equals confidence. You've heard that people say that. Well, market knowledge is understanding what's happening in the real estate market. Now, there are two really key ways that you can do this as a real estate agent. Number one is preview properties preview listings that are on the market right now. Whenever a new listing comes on the market, if you're out and you're seeing everything that's coming on the market, it does not take you long to become very, very familiar with what's happening in the real estate market. Let me just lay it out this way. What if you went out and previewed five properties a day that are actively on the market right now? If you went out and saw five houses a day and you just looked at them and you did that five days a week, okay, that'll take you about an hour. You got five properties a day. One, you're going to run into people. You're going to get business. You're going to get leads just by being out on the streets. But the reality is when you go out and look at five properties a day and you do that five days a week, you've looked at 25 properties in a week, right? Now, if there's four weeks in a month and you do that four weeks of the month, 25 a week in four weeks, how many properties have you previewed in one month? You've looked at 100 houses on the market. Now, if you did that three months, six months, think about if you do that for six months, you've literally in six months looked at 600 houses on the market. Don't you think you'd have a pretty good idea of the market, of what's happening in the market, what's available, and you get a buyer call, you know what's out there. You may not know about any one specific listing necessarily, but you've got a great feel for it. So when you're on a listing presentation or you're talking to a potential seller or an expired listing, you may have already seen their house. Or you at least are familiar with the area. Why? Because you're out there on the streets learning the market. Now, the second way you learn the market, increase your market knowledge, is by studying and paying attention to the statistics, to the market statistics. How many homes are on the market right now? How many homes are sold in the last 30 days? How many went under contract in the last 30 days? How many new listings came on the market in the last 30 days? What is the average days on the market? What is the average list price to sell price ratio? All of those things make a huge impact whenever you're talking to potential buyers and sellers and they're asking you about the market and you know abs actual statistics of what the market is doing. It's a huge thing to pay attention to if you'll study the market and you can do this very, very quickly. In a matter of a month or two, you can really begin to get a good feel of what's happening in the real estate market. And again, as you learn the market, your confidence goes up, so their confidence in you goes up. And all of a sudden, how new you are in the business becomes less and less of a factor just like that. Now, the fourth strategy is study success. Study other people who've absolutely been successful as very young or new agents. So we talk about study the young guns. Who are the top producers in your market or in the area or anywhere that have been very successful even at a very young age? In fact, Realtor Magazine every year, they do a study, uh, they do a, a survey of what kind of the top 30 agents under the age of 30. They call it 30 under 30. And it's a great group of people to study because you, you can actually go in and read who are they? Where, how did they get their business? What is their strategy? What, are, what is their philosophy? And just kind of study other people who've done what you want to do. And as you do that, you're going to realize one very simple thing. They're not that much different than you are. 
Okay, they weren't born with a silver foot in their mouth. Some of them may have some ends. They may have had a parent or somebody else that brought them into the business that already had established business. And all of that may be the case, but it doesn't matter. What you're looking for is if they can do it, I can do it. How did they overcome it? Because see, look, just think about it this way. If I'm a young guy and I'm 24 years old, I just got my license or I'm 22 or I'm 21 and I'm coming in and my mom has been a top producer, a mega agent for years. Does that give me an advantage? Absolutely. But what's the advantage? Well, the advantage is I'm coming in with somebody as a track, that has a track record. Does it make me more experienced? No. Does it make me smarter? No. Does it make, give me more market knowledge or skills or energy? No. It just means I've got something on my side that gives me more confidence. That's the key. So whenever you study these young guns, learn what it is that makes them do what they do and the way they do it. And the bottom line is the one common denominator is they all have at somehow, some way, developed their own confidence. Maybe from somebody else they came into the business with, it may be because they have a college degree, it may just be they're very confident, or it may be because they really quickly applied themselves, worked their rear end off, and they worked like nuts, and they did got some success, and they built on their success. And what does success breed? More success. Why? Because success breeds confidence. And they just got out there and they hammered it until they got some success. Learn from others who've done what you want to do. In this case, learn from the young guns what they're doing. Now, another thing is, do this. Partner with an old gun, okay? Find another top agent that you can partner with, and it's not a full-blown partnership, but just find an agent in your company or somebody you know, a real estate agent that's a top producer, well-known, well-respected, that you think, you know what, if I had them by my side or backing me up, I could do this. And talk to them about it and let them be your partner, not a full partnership, but just so that when you're talking to, for example, to a potential seller, to say, absolutely, I work with, how long have you been doing real estate? Well, I'm, this is my second year. This is my first year. But I actually work with a partner. My partner, you know, Bill Brown, he's been one of the top agents in the area. You probably know who he is, as a matter of fact, for 30 years or whatever it is. And you actually write on their coattails. Use them to back you up and just talk to them, work out an agreement with them, work out a deal that when you have a potential buyer or seller, how will they help you with it? And can you create a partnership per deal that you do that. You're probably going to share the commission with them and all of that. But look, what a great way to get experience and learn from a successful agent and give you more credibility and confidence as you're out there talking to people. Now, you can use that if it's a strategy that helps you or not. Either way works. But it's another great strategy that will help increase your C factor, your confidence. And then the last strategy is understanding that new rules and understanding that the rules of real estate have changed. Now I want you to think about this for a minute. If I'm getting ready to do something and I need to hire a professional, do I want the person who's been doing it the longest or the person who does it the best? Well, it depends on what it is, but typically it's, I want the person that does it the best. So think about this. If you were going to have open heart surgery, are you wanting the oldest surgeon? Are you wanting the surgeon that is most up to date with the new techniques, the new uh, technology and uses the latest surgical techniques and surgical instruments? Or are you want the one that did it back when they used to just use, you know, a, 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 a handkerchief soaked in uh, ether and they stuck it on your mouth? I mean, it's a different world in medicine. It's a different world today than it was 30 years ago. You know what? It's a different world in real estate today than it was five years ago. How buyers buy, how sellers sell, where buyers and sellers get their information, how marketing is done is totally different than it was 15 years ago. When I started real estate, newspaper ads and, and classified ads was still one of the primary ways of marketing real estate. I got into business just, I think, one or two years after they had actually gone from the old printed MLS books to actually having the MLS, the multiple listing service, online. Well, you think things have changed a little bit? Absolutely. The old rules of real estate are not the same anymore. There's a totally new set of rules. So when you're talking to a potential buyer or seller, actually use this and say, you know, how long have you been doing this? Well, it's my second year. However, I'm very up to date with everything, all the strategies, all the techniques, and all the technology to help sellers like yourself get the best results, get the house sold in the best amount of time with the least amount of hassle and for top dollar. Because that's really what's important to you, right? Perfect. That's what I can do for you. Okay. When it comes to understanding the new rules of real estate, 
you have an advantage when you're new as opposed to somebody who's been in and still does it all the same old strategies that worked back in the 1900s don't work anymore. It's a new world. And take advantage of that. Use your youth. Use your newness in the business to say, I have learned, what I've done is I've learned all the new strategies, the new techniques, all the new marketing, all the, I use technology both to help find the right house for you or to help you sell your house. Whatever it is that the client needs, your expertise is more important than your experience if you understand that and think that way. Again, remember, all this comes down to confidence and it's you not becoming your own objection or your own obstacle by thinking, well, I'm young and that's going to be a drawback. No, it is your massive advantage that you are new, that you've got energy, that you are on the cutting edge, that you're out there in the game every day learning it and you are absolutely driven and committed to helping your clients get the best results in the best amount of time with the least amount of hassle. That's how you win. Here is where you win first. Play to win every day. It doesn't matter what your age is. It doesn't matter how new you are. You can win in this game of real estate.